Well, it is the first day of the school holidays, Nicola Fry, and you're here to give us some more wonderful tips, especially with the wee cherubs at home. Yes. Well, it's a, a great time to, to cook with the children um, and it gives them a sense of accomplishment if they can take part in something that preparing something for the whole family. It's, it's a, a great little activity for it the holidays. Yeah. Well, we've talked about the amazing benefits of actually yeah. eating as a family, yes. but cooking must be the same, surely. Yeah, well, even... Um, even as, as well as, the, as all the family side of things, there's also things like learning about different cultures, different kinds of food. I mean, New Zealand, we, we include so many different cultures, foods in, in our, in our mm. diet, which is really great. And it's a great way for the kids to learn about that. Um, the other thing, it even includes things like, you know, you've got to sometimes read labels, so there's a bit of reading, there's a bit of maths involved. So it's a, a bit of classroom in the kitchen, <laughs> bit of science as well, yeah. Um, today, especially for children, there's so many pre-packaged foods mm. that we are just bombarded with. Yeah, yeah. So that, that cooking together sometimes can sort of show that you don't have to have something pre-packaged. You can actually, that, that where do these foods come from? So pizza doesn't always have to be delivered in a box, you know. You can start from scratch even with the pizza dough and, and your toppings. And that's, a, that's a, pizzas are always a great one. Everyone can have their own toppings and that sort of thing. And it, a, a sauce that goes, goes in a bolognese or something like that mm. doesn't always have to come in a jar, you know, you can start. So it's, it's a great learning thing that, you know, foods don't have to be pre-packaged. That wasn't how those foods were started their lives. <laughs> yeah. And do you think it's also important to actually take the children to the supermarket as well or to the local um, green grocer? Yes. The green grocer, absolutely. Um, you know, when I've done work in schools and you introduce a new type of vegetable, there's, there's lots of vegetables that children might not have come across um, in their, their young lives. Mm. Um, and the, the other shop that's quite interesting to go to is some of these um, Asian food warehouses and that sort of thing. It's a real experience doing that, you know, planning a family meal and going along and buying the ingredients. It's, it's a lot of fun. And that's the key word, isn't it, fun? Yeah. If it's not fun, they, they just won't participate, no, will they? No. No. Yeah. Um, so what, what do you suggest then, if we're thinking about introducing our children to the kitchen, do we need to relax? <laughs> yes. I think, yes, to, to, to chill is definitely on the cards. Yeah. It's got to be an enjoyable experience, doesn't it? So, um, you know, and, and it depends how old they are and how skilled they are as to the sorts of things you'd allow them to do in the kitchen. Obviously being careful with knives and things, like anything that might hurt them or, or cut them, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, different age groups could have different activities and, you know, while one child might be able to sort of stir something while it's, while it's heating up, another child might just be putting things in a bowl, giving it a bit of a mix, that sort of thing, whatever, whatever sort of is age appropriate. Yeah, and don't get stressed out if there's a bit of a mess. I think no. that's the main thing. You don't want to be growling them no. for dropping a spoon or putting something somewhere well, which they shouldn't have. They won't want to do it again if it's not an enjoyable experience. No, they? no that's right. Yeah. Now, yum, and <laughs> we're just debating about this, hummus, hummus. Yes, potato, potato. Potato, potato. I think we'll go with hummus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what is our recipe tomorrow? Okay, so our recipe tomorrow is, is um, a standard hummus with some sweet pumpkin added in. So just something, hummus is a, a great one these days. You can dip, it, dip into it with your vegetables, with your corn chips, that yeah. sort of thing. With you, you, know, you can make your own pita chips to go in it. And it's a great snack for kids. A lot of kids take it to school and have it as a dip in, um, something to dip their veggies into at school. So um, really need to make that from scratch. Um, show them what a chickpea is, that it's actually, yes. <laughs> that they actually, you know, they can come in a can, that you can actually get them from um, the start as well and so them that sort of thing. Um, so a great learning experience and something that the kids might like to snack on over the holidays. Really simple to make as well. Now, question for you, because you may not cover it tomorrow in the recipe, how long is the shelf life or the fridge life if you make your uh, hum hummus fresh? Yeah, yeah, I'd say it would be about a week, but keeping it in the, in the fridge, yeah, yeah. That's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, that's great. That, that, that's a whole week of lunches, potentially, yeah. if, you yeah. a big, if you did a big lot of them as well. Yes. Um, now, before we go, so if we ones at home, what's one quick recipe we can do in the kitchen, maybe a bit of baking that you yes. think is a good thing? What would be good? I think good, good muffins or uh, if you're going to make something sweet, perhaps you could put fruit or you can make savoury. The other thing is good old cheese rolls and a... Oh. 
You know, they you can freeze them, you can bring them out for lunches, and they're great to have as, uh, in the freezer. Um, but also, if you, if you make them on the day, the, they won't be able to not eat those as a snack or lunch on that oh. day as well. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you. And that's yeah. a wonderful one, Nicola Fryer. That's at Nourish Nutrition Limited. Website is nourish.org.nz. Remember that fantastic Facebook page. It's health through food.